uh, doesn't matter how down we're feeling or whatever the case, we have to rally back. We have to come together. We have to uh, learn from what we did mistake-wise in this game, um, correct it, move forward, and get some rub wins. When, when you got fouled shooting that three, you go hit two or three, did you think, all right, this is it, you know? This is that's the that's the play that we needed to kind of ice this up. Uh, I mean, kind of how it, how it happened. I mean, it wasn't designed that way, obviously, but I mean, it worked out well. I just wanted to hit the first one, and just keep focusing on the next one. Um, just let the third one short. Were you surprised that there was not a foul called on that Peyton Seal last drive where he seemed like? I mean, well, he hit the tar he hit the ground. Right. I mean, it's kind of up to the ref. So yeah. um, maybe he got fouled. Maybe he didn't. I'm not really sure. Just kind of they called it not foul. So. That's how it is. Is it frustrating to play against a team like this that continually slows it down and brings it back to their kind of pace? Yeah. I mean, is it frustrating? Maybe a little bit, but we can't let them dictate tempo. We have to create steals, pick up the intensity on our press, uh, force turnovers, and we have to, you know, kind of enforce our tempo where we want to play. Uh, and they did a better job of that. You'd come out on the on the positive end of so many of these overtime games against Notre Dame. What, why do you think this one was different? Uh, I mean, we played them tough. They played tough, but it came down to the end. Uh, we needed to get a stop. Uh, I just made a mental mistake trying to go for a steal. Um, gave up a basket and then um, just didn't, uh, didn't execute on the other end, didn't come up with a good shot. Are you all behind the eight ball now in the, in the Big East? You, you lost two home games? Well, I mean, we're down. We're definitely behind. I mean, we'd obviously like to be undefeated up to this point, but it is what it is. So we can't dwell on it. We just have to learn from it and move forward. Do you have to view it like we have to go steal one on the road or steal two on the road, that kind of thing, make it up? Uh, I definitely think that. So if we lose two at home, maybe we shouldn't have lost. So now we got to go win two in a row that we maybe shouldn't win. So make up for them. Thanks. Maybe we can't hear Well, teams are forcing us to half court offense, which I mean, ideally we'd rather get on the break, create steals, and get easy layups. So that being said, if they're forced to half court team, we have to work on our execution on the offensive end, especially in half court or half court sets. So we're, we're able to score that way. And then, how big was it today when Gordy, you know, just in the early foul trouble and then I mean, it's always tough when he's, he's um, not in the game, especially early. Uh, we lose some rebounding. Um, lose shot blocking, uh, we lose uh, communication with him with uh, his experience. So, I mean, we have some stuff guys step in. Um, Brock came in, did, did a good job to what he could do. Um, I mean, that being said, just got to try and keep him out of foul trouble as much as possible, keep him in the game.